Continuous improvements have been made to the FeatureCam user interface and FeatureCam 2014 R3 adds a new level of functionality to the bottom radius hyperlink when creating features. Previously this functionality was limited to just geometry selection but now this has been extended to allow the picking of solid faces through curvature analysis. This greatly improves interactive feature recognition as you no longer have to go through the process of taking measurements of your part to get that bottom radius. In this part example you can see we've got a mould bolster plate and we've got a number of features already pre-created. If I run through a 3D simulation you can see we've got a couple of side operations, a facing operation and a pocket operation. What I now want to do is machine this side region here and also these two pockets. I'm going to do this using interactive feature recognition. First thing I want to do is go ahead and machine this side. So I'm going to select the side faces that I wish to machine and then go and create a new feature, side, extract with feature recognition. Choose next and we select the side surfaces that are already pre-selected so we can skip through and identify the bottom of that side region. Note at the moment we have a straight edge to this, there is no fillet in this side. Let's go next to our dimensions page and here you can see at the moment the bottom radius is empty or set as zero. In the past we would have to create some kind of geometry in order to use the hyperlink or we could actually fill in the value manually. The manual method would involve going to our curvature tool and then analyzing the curvature and seeing what the axis states for the size of our fillet. If we wanted to use geometry we could go ahead and click points on the edge of the fillet and identify a circle that represents the shape of our fillet. However the new functionality allows us to use the hyperlink and go and automatically pick the surface or the face of the solid. In this case I can identify that the bottom radius is 5mm for this side. I'm going to accept the rest of the defaults and say finish and say OK and then rerun through my 3D simulation to machine the feature. To machine the two pockets over here I'm going to go ahead and identify those surfaces again around the outside. I'm going to this time machine a pocket, extract with feature recognition. I could use automatic recognition but I'm going to use the side surfaces function. I'm going to choose the bottom as being down there and then identify the bottom radius. So again I can pick the bottom radius as that face or I could choose any other curved face so in this case if I wanted to match the bottom radius to the sides I get a larger bottom radius in that pocket and I can say finish and accept. Rerun through my simulation and I get my pocket created like so. So this greatly speeds up the process of doing interactive feature recognition by allowing us to identify those bottom radius faces directly from the solid itself.